In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about formatting your question slides, your quiz question slides. I've just imported this uh, series of question slides into this course uh, using a GIFT format file. Uh, you can learn more about that in this video here, which I'll put a link for you. Um, but anyway, what we do is we want to go in and take a look at how this imported questions, uh, or how these imported questions look. So you can see here it looks pretty okay. You might want to reposition certain things. Now this is all driven by your template. Um, if you don't like the way your your captions show up, then you can change that on the master slide for multiple choice. Uh, one of the things that I do a lot of times is I might have answers like this one here where they go beyond one line of text. So here's how I deal with that. First of all, I resize the actual multiple answer area and we go into the properties window and under options you can resize any one of these. I usually select the last one of all my possible answers, correct and incorrect. Uncheck constrain proportions. This I find is the easiest way to deal with this but of course you can come up with your own way. I'm going to change the height to approximately double or maybe a little bit more than double of the current height. Currently it's set for 24 pixels. I'm just going to make that 50. And this should double the height of the, uh, the last answer here. That's great. I've left um, you know plenty of room for I believe all of the answers now. I'm just going to reposition the last uh, answer to be lower on the screen and I can do this of course by dragging it but if you want to be a bit more precise you can just type in a new number in the uh, Y transform uh, space there. So let me just put 150 hit enter and this will slide down that last answer to a little bit lower on the screen. Then I can select the remaining answers for this multiple choice question and then using the alignment toolbar and if you don't have the alignment toolbar visible you can make it visible by selecting it from the window drop down menu I have mine visible already so I can now simply select resize to same size and of course the first one selected is the one I've already resized so we'll do that and that will resize all of my answers to be exactly the same size and then of course what I want to do is reposition answer 1 and answer 2 so that they are alignment. We're going to distribute them vertically so that they're in alignment with one another and that's pretty much it. I'll just take a second or two. Okay so now they appear nice and even on the page and of course I can reposition all of the answers together by using again the Y coordinates in the transform to maybe just bring that up a little bit closer to the question itself and then of course I can resize the height of the answer box to be appropriate. So there you go, a nice easy way to work with all of your imported questions uh, easy to make them of course all line up nicely. It's really important that all of your answers, especially if you're going to turn on the uh, random answer function which is available in your quiz properties panel, shuffle answers. Uh, if you're going to turn that on of course any of these text items could end up in any of these three boxes. So in other words, answer A could become answer B, and answer C could become answer A, and so on. The reason that you want to make sure they're all the same size is that, let's say you have one answer that's only one line of text, but another answer is two lines of text, and if the two lines of text try to get placed in the one line of text, you're going to lose that information. So make sure they're all the same size, Make sure they're evenly distributed, and you should have great results with your multiple choice questions. Guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.